Woo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another yeah. episode. Well, as exciting as today's episode is, it is also a sad one. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have lost another animal to predator. I know. Listen, I know. It's a sad day here on the flare farm. We've lost another animal to predators. First, it was James Pond. Then we had Tom and Tyrone get taken. Now we've got another farm animal. He was. He was my favorite. Rest in peace, my friend. He's an OG of the farm. We're gonna go into that a little bit more in a bit, but first things first, we gotta get these guys fed. They're running low on hay, running low on water. They need feed. We gotta feed all these guys, then run over to the chicken coop and kinda do the same thing. Do basically our morning chores, and then we're gonna get into the casualty today on the flare farm. <laughs> Finn, what you think, buddy? You're never down here. What up, little guy? We never bring Finn down because he always gets caught up in the burrs and stuff, but it's just too nice of a day. And he was just, he was all sad. Once we took Millie out, so I was like, yeah, all right, all right, we can take him. We just gotta keep an eye on him. Make sure he isn't getting any burrs because last time we got in burrs, we had to shave him, so. We got another sidekick. What do you think, buddy? I don't think we should let you in the, uh, in the pen here. These animals would probably kill you. So you just hang out outside, all right? You do Finn things. Don't, anything, don't do anything I wouldn't do. We're gonna get this uh, feeder loaded up with hay. Look at them, they're already chilling. Dale, what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? You're so fluffy. Look at them standing up there. They love it. Fresh hay. So we're gonna load up their feeder. Gotta give them some grain and some water. So here we go. You and Finn, stay out. You or do you wanna come in? Finn, just don't get kicked, all right? Come on. Finn, it's your first time meeting the animals. Run, 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 run. This could end badly. Finn could die, but Finn, you cannot go sniff a donkey's ass. It will kick you. Same size as the it is. Look at baby goats. Dude, those baby goats are getting big. Finn, that donkey probably doesn't like you, buddy. Hey, Finn, it don't like you. It's gonna kick you, buddy. Finn's our friend. Hey, you be you be good. You leave that donkey Felicia. alone. Felicia is not about the Finn life, huh, buddy? Oh, that that sheep ain't about the oh. Finn. Hey. The thing is, Finn's faster than everything in here, so like, Finn could definitely out outrun everybody. So I'm not super worried, but let's go get their water. Finn, come on, let's go this way. Come on, buddy. All right, well, that didn't last too long. Finn just, uh, Felicia just went up and kicked him, so he's just gonna hang out outside. He's all right, he's not hurt or anything, but you know what, I get it. It's good that the donkeys and the sheep are protective of new critters. Um, That's kind of what this video is about, is protecting against predators. We haven't really had any issues with predators with these guys, which is a good thing. It's more or less the feathered folks here at the flare farm that have been getting ka so. Anyways, let's see what their water situation looks like. Oh yeah, they still have plenty of water. Look at that. This is our new system. We got a little trampoline for the little guys. They can jump up. We gotta fill this up and then they've got this little pool over here too. And Millie's enjoying it, huh buddy? Is this some good water? Yeah. We're gonna top these guys off and then uh, we're gonna get that hay bale up in the feeder. <laughs> God dang it. Oh, yeah. It's like a water park out here. Watch out, sheep! Excuse me, Dale. Hey, 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 don't run me over. Boom! All right, got these little strings off and we're good to go. Oh yeah, Dale, relax, all right? You just flipped over your feeder. Well, how am I supposed to feed you now, Dale? All right. Oh, gee! Coming in hot. Coming in hot, right here, boys. There you go. Boom, that's the new strategy put it in the little, the, the catch tray. So that way they're forced to eat the hay that they basically let go to waste. Anyways, these big animals are taken care of. You guys might be wondering, who died? There's only, well there's actually eight animals left that you guys haven't seen. Give you a hint, it's not any chickens. It's not Rick. Unfortunately, I have to tell you guys, Quacky Chan is no longer with the flare farm. I tried folks, I really did. We went six months without any casualties besides James Pond, which was an owl, which is cheating. Let everything rip. Tom and Tyrone got murked, learned the lesson, lock everything up. We locked everything up, and literally the same week that we locked everything up, Quacky is now dead. We just found him. Uh, we'll go over there in a second. I'm not gonna show you his remains because it's actually pretty graphic. Um, I'll show you what I think I can get away with here uh, on YouTube, but we need to figure out what is taking on the animals. If you guys saw the video, we put a bunch of trail cameras out for Tyrone and for Tom, and it was just raccoons, a possum, but raccoons. We didn't see any coyotes. We didn't see any bobcats, any Bigfoots or anything like that. It was just raccoons. So I'm going to show you guys the crime scene. We haven't investigated. Bonzo and I drove the car down, this the mule down just like literally an hour ago, not even 30 minutes ago. And as we were going, we literally saw Quacky Chan inside that little dog igloo dead. We haven't investigated it, we haven't looked into it, we haven't done anything other than that he's dead. So I wanted to kind of have that reaction with you guys. I, I know he's dead, so it's not like one of these like, hey, where's Quacky, oh, he's dead, OMG moment. It's like a, hey guys, he's dead. I haven't looked at it. I don't know what's left of him, if anything, or if there's any evidence left behind as far as what killed him, but it's a sad day. I mean, it's just, mm. 
I know you guys warned me and I even knew better. You know, the whole Tom and Tyrone thing was, was my bad. I should have locked everything up. But I locked everything up in an electric fence. And I feel like that's about as good as it gets as far as normal predators. Aerial predators obviously can, it can come in from above. So if it was an owl again, then we're going to have to build them a new enclosure. So anyways, without further ado, let's go check on quacky chan for those of you guys that thought it was rick rick is doing just fine in his own little enclosure here huh buddy you doing all right rick you got food you got water you're by yourself come here rick everybody wants to see you buddy see if you weren't such a naughty goat we let you hang out with the other guys but he's kind of naughty he don't even like you petting oh he kind of does what's up rick can you believe we lost quacky the og he's even more og than you and i thought you were the og well Rick's alive. Like I said, the only thing we've got new that is now deceased is Quacky Chan. So we're gonna walk through here and check him out. How's it going, chickens? You guys doing all right? You good? All right. You guys, you guys need to be careful. We got someone sneaking in. So as you can see, feathers, feathers, feathers. They still got some water. So you guys still got water. Feathers. Look at all these feathers. White feathers. And then that. I can't show you any closer than that. But as you can tell, there's a wing of Quacky Chan sitting there. All these feathers. All of these feathers, you can tell it's it, it's pretty obvious what happened. So, with that being said, I would find it very hard to believe a coyote got in this. This is a, this is electric. Like this thing, when it's on, you touch it, it zaps you. If you're grounded like an animal, I mean, it knocks you up. Like like Millie hit it one time and she yelped and screamed. Like I feel like it would deter a coyote um, quite a bit. Actually, no, I just, I just looked at this. I don't know if I can show this. I'll, I'll cover this, but this is a uh, looks like his foot right here. So. You can see these orange, orange little Webers. So yeah, I don't know. Like I said, it's not the most, you know, I guess secure enclosure. We haven't had any issues. I mean, we've had them literally for six months, no issues. It's literally just straight feathers right now, but oh, okay. There we go right there. This is what we're looking for. We've got poop. This actually, it looks, actually looks more like a raccoon than anything because it's got those, them seeds in it. Normally, if you see coyote poop, it's just like fur. Even if they just ate a duck or anything, like it's, it's pretty much just straight fur. So anytime you see those little seeds and stuff, I don't even know what they eat that has those seeds. Do you know? Cause like every time I see like raccoon poop. It looks like corn. It's almost corn, but it's, I don't think I don't it is think corn. corn. But if you guys can see there, that is uh, you guys let me know otherwise, but I'm pretty darn positive that would be raccoon poop right there. Meaning, and this is on the inside of the enclosure, like as you can tell inside. So this, they came in, they ate and they pooped. And actually looking at this, this is, this looks like this could definitely be a slide right there, that gap right there. And you can see it's actually trampled down behind there. You can see all that grass is down. They definitely could be sliding right here. There's also another one right here. Looks like they could do it. All of this is pretty well staked down. I don't see any. How's it going, chickens? Yeah, you guys got to get locked up again tonight, but you guys enjoy your, your corn for right now. All this looks pretty good. Like if it was a, if a raccoon touches its nose on this, they should get like they should get shocked. Really good. This all looks actually pretty good. There's nothing here. And then this this was a big one right here. There's poop there, but I don't think that's a raccoon. Oh, that's pretty bad. I think that's supposed to be under that. That's pretty bad. That's real bad. Look at that. Yeah, 100%. How did this happen? They could, de that's definitely where they're coming in. So we put these little stakes down, but it, it must have come out. See, it's supposed to be like this. And then this is supposed to go back over like this it. one. I thought this thing was a lot more secure than it actually is or was. I mean, that right there alone could let anything in for that matter. But like even here, see this, it's, 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 it's staked down. It's pretty tight. If they put their nose right here, it's going to shock them. So I, my guess is it's going to be right there or it's going to be somewhere along that. Um, but I'm pretty positive we know what the predator is on the farm. Now, I don't believe that a raccoon could kill Tom. We saw that in the trail cam footage of the first video. I don't think it's possible. You guys let me know what you guys think. Is it possible for, is it possible for a raccoon or raccoons to kill a giant male turkey like Tom? I mean, he was a freaking beefcake. Is that possible? You guys let me know. But I would say what, what killed what killed Quacky is definitely a raccoon. Couple signs. One, his body is still here. Anytime a coyote kills something, it's just vanished, which is why I believe Tom and Tyrone were eaten by a coyote. Um, at least Tom. There's no, there's no evidence. I mean, it's literally just feathers. And that's what I've heard. It's like, you know coyotes got your chickens because it's just feathers. If it's a possum or it's a raccoon, sometimes they just eat the head or, or they come back. I mean, again, I can't show you much, but there's a good amount of Quacky Chan's body still in there. The meat's gone. Feathers are there the carcass is there if it was a if it was a coyote it would have grabbed it and whichever way it came in it would get out and it would take it over there and they'd bury it like coyotes do sorry i'm not super excited this vlog folks quacky was one of my favorite animals here on the farm tough day um but did, the day is not over again we are not settling we're not taking the l we are going to fight back against the predators so right now we're down to goats sheeps donkeys and chickens we have no ducks left we have no turkeys a lot of our fowl and birds are 
dead because of predators. So I think that means one of two things. One, we need to reposition this thing. We need to get this thing maybe even off that hill a little bit, down on this flat ground a little bit more. Make sure everything's gr well grounded, make sure the, the wires are hot, make sure everything's really good, just because we gotta protect these chickens. The good thing about the chickens, they've got this really nice coop, which they go into at night. So when the predators come, if they're coming at night, they're locked up, it's pretty darn impossible for a raccoon. They would have to climb up and get in there, which is possible. They could definitely climb up and get in there, but it's not like they're sitting out here like a sitting duck like Wacky Chan was. So um, I think we need to reorganize this. I'm also going to give my local game warren a phone call and see if I can get a pet permit to try to trap these raccoons because again i think that's what definitely killed quacky not sure about the other two guys but that's what the trail cam footage we had the other thing we're going to do is we're going to set up more trail cam footage so in there is still a decent amount of quacky chan's body so i say we'll put like a trail camera here and here to get kind of a 360 area to see if we can see him coming in if they come back to finish him off they're not done with them there's still some meat there there's still some bones and guts and stuff they have not eaten the entire thing we gotta see how many we're dealing with is it just one is he acting solo what it might be so we've got a few things to do first things first i'm gonna call the game more and see if we can go full trapper mode here in the off season. It is a thing. You can get pest permit. Um, you just have to get permission from your local game warden. So we're going to see what Buddy has to say. How's it going, folks? Yes, we are back here. This is like the, what do you call it? Like the FBI has like a van with a surveillance footage re sure. reviewing van. That thing. Basically, this is the spot we've dedicated to reviewing surveillance. Millie, what do you think? We've got some video footage to reveal. So basically what happened is I called the game board. He didn't answer. So we were like, all right, well, we don't want to do anything. We don't want to start trapping anything until we really know what we can and can't do. Uh, he didn't get back to me all day yesterday, so we didn't film. Like I literally just said, I was like, I was like, Bonzo, we're just, we're done for the day. Let's just lock everything up and let's put a trail camera or two trail cameras on or just kind of around basically Quacky Chan's body, like around that area until we can figure out um, what we can trap, what we're legally allowed to trap since it's not trapping season or two, maybe we figure out what it is. And so like you guys saw there, Quacky Chan's body was still in that little igloo area. So we left it in there and put up a camera and we're back here to review the footage. I have talked to the game warden. He called me back actually early this morning. We weren't really filming yet. Um, and I talked to him and he said, it's totally fine. It's actually not a pest permit. It just, you need his permission. He just needs to know about it. Um, so this is one of those kind of learning lesson for you guys if you guys have livestock that you're to that you're trying to protect call your local game warden if you're having issues in the off season and they will give you permission he basically told me livestock is number one like that is priority number one you need to protect against predators you need to do everything you possibly can to protect the livestock since that is people's livelihood. So he gave us the green light to basically trap whatever the heck is killing the animals. And today we've got trail cam footage of, well, hopefully something's on there, but we, we're gonna review the footage to see, was there anything lurking around Quacky Chan's body? When we went down there today to grab the SD cards, it looked like his body had been, there's just more feathers. It didn't really look like there, his body was still there, it wasn't missing. There was just a lot more feathers laying around. So we're gonna go over the footage. After we go over the footage, after we determine uh, hopefully what the predator is um, if you guys saw the last video where Tom and Tyrone got killed It was just straight raccoons and then like a possum which I don't think a possum did much It was just raccoons. We got no bobcat footage and no coyote footage So we're gonna review the footage depending on what we see We're gonna hopefully go set out traps today And then we're gonna go check them every single day and basically this is war folks We're not taking any crap anymore. We are going we have the green light from the game warren to literally just trap everything that comes within spitting distance of the chicken coop in and of itself so Let's go ahead and get reviewing here. Let's see if we find anything interesting. All right, so we're starting here. Yeah, look at Bonzo, just <laughs> sticking it out there. Uh, perfect, moving that around. Yep, we're putting the other camera there. Perfect. A lot of chickens. Lots, lots of chicken footage, okay. So as you can tell, if you see inside that igloo, you can see those feathers. We, we kind of tucked those feathers. You guys saw them earlier. They were kind of dangling out. We kind of tucked them in there um, just to basically make the whoever it is going in there to have to get in there, you know, really get after. They can't just like kind of come around the side and grab or grab a wing or something. We wanted them to kind of get into it. So lots of chickens. Okay, lots and lots of chickens. Let's, let's just watch a clip, chicken clip. What, what, what are they doing? Are they pecking at it? What if the chickens killed Quacky? They all turn, they what, if, what, if, what if it's an inside job? What if a <laughs> raccoon or a coyote was like, hey chickens, we'll give you some extra chicken scratch if you know, just take out your guy, you know? Is that so, how that works? No, probably okay. not. But definitely possible. The only thing is we saw a raccoon poop. So that's that's definitely a giveaway. So anyways, keep on going. We're gonna oh it's getting darker. This is good because during the day there's I mean predators aren't really much of an issue. Okay! Oh. Look at that. What did I just say? Ricky, look at this guy. 
All right, open her up. We got Ricky. We're gonna watch him. Watch him come right where I was. You guys saw that depression. Look, he's he is. He's going. Come on, do it, do it, do it, do it. I don't want you to do it, but I want you to do it. He's gonna do it. He's oh, gonna he's slip looking. right under. He's look. He's sniffing. He's sniffing. He's going. He's going. He went under it. Oh, I stopped. Oh, that was the end of the clip. Let's go to the next clip. He went he's under it right where right. I said. Right he's where I said it. that little depression in the grass is. Obviously not shocking. So no, I mean our fence is not working. So we're we're gonna fix that today. Um, part of the reason why the fence doesn't work is because part of the, like the electric part, which is the white netting, is grounded out somewhere. It's touching a piece of metal or grass or something. Because that that fence, I've gotten hit by it when like I's not wearing rubber boots and they'll knock you. I mean, Millie's put her nose against it and she freaks out and runs. Like this thing should have gotten Kachow. So obviously it's not doing its job. Look at dude, that's a beefcake of a raccoon. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh my god, he looks like it's, a coyote. It almost. looks like a small dog. Look at him. He's chunk. What are you sniffing at, Rick? The thing's inside. Look at him, dude. Can you believe he just snuck right in there? Look at him. He's just eating him. Mm-hmm. Rip quacky, dude. He's definitely a raccoon. Yeah, so it's a raccoon. I mean, the thing, like I said, the tire. If you guys saw the Tyrone in the Tom video, we only saw raccoons. Whether a raccoon could take down full size Tom, I, I'm not sure. So he's still in there. He's still in there. He's still in there. Dude, he's in there for a while. I'm, I'm looking at the time. Yeah. I mean, he's been in there for at least an hour. Yeah. Kind of looks like he lives there. Like that's his yeah. house, you know? <laughs> yeah. So he was there and then two hours later, it's getting daylight and the chickens are there. There you have it folks. It has been confirmed. And we figured because there was poop and normally when a coyote gets something, they take it, which is what happened to Tyrone and Tom. Tyrone and Tom is just feathers. There's no carcass, there's nothing, which leads me to believe it was a coyote. But the fact that all of a sudden they died and then right after Quacky died, and it was a raccoon, and the only footage we have of any predator right now out of like, we've put out 10 trail cameras over the last week and a half, is only raccoons. Leads me to believe we have a raccoon problem at the farm. What's crazy is we didn't have any problems during trapping season. Like we had an entire season to do this, to trap everything that we needed to trap, take care of business, everything left all the animals alone. Right when trapping season ends, all the raccoons were like, all right boys, let's go. And then they came in, they killed everything, now, it's payback. This is war. We have permission from the game warden to set out traps. We're gonna just do dog, we're just gonna do dog proofs just because that is geared towards raccoons only. I don't wanna put footholds out because obviously we got Millie that runs around too and I don't want her getting caught in any of that stuff either, especially since it's just around the animals. She comes to the animals with us every single day, which I want her to be able to do. If we lose another animal, chicken, if we end up buying more ducks or turkeys or whatever, also comment down below, what else should we buy? Should we keep buying ducks or are they just, is that just a lost cause? Should we buy another Tom? Uh, or let, let me know. What are they like besides big animals? I personally enjoyed the small animals. The ducks were annoying because they would dirty the water, but they were fun. Quacky was chill. Um, rip. But let me know what you guys think we should buy next. We're gonna head out. I think we've got like 10 or 12 uh, of the new little dog foods. You guys will see those. We've got some dog food, some bait, and we're gonna go just line them. We're gonna put some around the actual coop, and then we're gonna set some down in that forest valley which is where a lot of them, we've seen trafficking and stuff like that. So we, I'm not spreading them all around my property. Like I, again, this isn't trapping season. You're supposed to only protect basically like your, your livestock. So we're gonna set them kind of down the hill from all the, uh, the chickens and stuff like that. Cause that's where they like to free range. And um, hopefully we get one. So you guys stay tuned. Shoo! Well, we're down at the farm and look look what we've got going on here, folks. Hannifer, you're inside, but what in the heck are you doing? How did you, yeah, this is Prince, how did you get out? I don't know. Hey, let me turn this fence off so Millie doesn't get zapped here. How in the, how did you get out, Rick? So how many, we got one, two, three, four. Okay, so we're missing two. Wow, we need to get these eggs. There's a bunch of eggs in there. So there's one, two, three, four. So we're missing two more. I need to go see if uh, if they're down in this hill. Otherwise, we might just have another freaking casualty. The thing is, I locked them up last night, put the fence on, turned it on. I don't know if the fence just ain't working or, or what. We're gonna try to redo the fence today too. Um, oh, I see one chicken, two chicken. All right, we're good. Do you guys not understand what happened to your friends? I mean... Yeah, they just don't really care, I guess. Anyway, so that means three chickens got out. Somehow three chickens got out. I don't understand how that works. But anyways, um, as you guys saw, the raccoons are the number one prior. Even the previous video, when Tyrone and Tom died, all we saw was raccoons. Now we have proof it was raccoons based off of what came and ate Quacky Chan's body. So we need it. We're going to set a bunch of traps. First things first, we got to take care of these animals here. What are you guys doing? You guys want some grain? I already gave you grain this morning, but I'll give you guys another cup. Were you rolling around the hay? Why are you so dirty? I'm you see how dirty Dale is? Oh, you're down there. Dale, what were you doing? He's covered. Look at him. He's got like mud. It's like mud in Dale, what were you doing? Are you taking a nap? You are too, donkey. Hi, Karen. You're all dirty. Were you guys taking a nap in the hay? Is that what was going on, bud? You want some grain? Does Dale want grain? Look how dirty he is. Oh, yeah, we do I'm have snacks. The food. Sorry. There you go. There you go, Dale. You, you want a nap? Yeah, we cut up some apples. That's Macy. Look at Dale. 
munching on the apples. Here you go, Karen. Here you go, Karen. I know you like apples. Oh, hi. Look at these guys. Everybody's all excited. You're happy. Yeah, is that? Oh, you dropped some, my guy. How's it going, Karen? You guys like the apples? Here you go. You want some lettuce? There you go. Get that, Dale. Get some of that, Karen. I know you want that lettuce in your mouth, buddy. You want some, little guy? Here you go. One of the donkeys wants some? You want some of this sheet? It's just lettuce. Bite it. There you go. There you go. We're giving you guys some snacks. Yeah, I'm just glad the predators ain't messing with you guys. I'm just glad the predators aren't messing with you. If they mess with you, if they mess with Dale, well, first off, Dale will kick their ass. But if they mess with Dale, we would have a huge problem. Look at, he was rolling around taking a nap in the hay. He's all dirty. He's a dirty boy. You want some more apples, Karen? You want some more apples? I'll put it in their, their trough. Put the food in the trough. Here you go, Buttercup. Boom. Dang, there's a lot. Macy hooked it up fast. She wants oh, we got carrots. We got carrots and everything. Here you go, buddy. Do they like carrots? I don't know. We'll find out. Dale okay, loves him some lettuce. Oh, Karen, not cool, man. Karen. Listen. Here, here, Karen. here you go. Get some of that lettuce out there, buddy. Oh, Karen likes the carrot. Yeah, she does. Karen is a fan of the carrots. Hey, Dale. Look, there's all this lettuce right there. What do you guys? What are the donkeys? Here, give me some of this. What do the donkeys want? Are they are they unhappy with their lives? Oh yeah, you guys are eating it. I just hear you snorting a bunch. See if the babies like the carrots. Oh yeah. Keep you in the way. Hey, what do you want, Rick? Look at all you guys munching. All right, let's see what else is in here. Rick, we're coming, Rick. I didn't forget about you, my guy. Chickens, you guys are freaking nuts. I don't know why you're escaping the pen that I trapped you in because everybody out here is freaking dying. Look at all these feathers. You can see all these feathers still here. Oh, look how happy he is. You want some, you want some uh, food, buddy? Here you go, bud. You want some carrots? You want some apples? Oh, he likes carrots. I'm sucking on it. It's not a nipple, my guy. There you go. Was that good? Here. Oh, shoot, that's full of water. Let's pull up your pail. I know you don't like eating off the ground. It's your bougie. What, you want me to hand feed you? What? Rick, what do you mean, buddy? It's just apples. You love, you love apples. apples. Don't act like you don't like apples. Listen, this has got to taste better than grain. There you go. There you go. Yeah, my guy. That's what I'm talking about. He's a needy goat. Millie, just like you, you're a needy dog. Yeah, Rick is the needy goat. Anyways, we had a, we got some extra snacks for these guys. Since it's been such a rough time on the farm, I feel like we just got to make sure everybody knows, hey, we're still here. We're still taking care of you, all right? We're not letting everybody just die. Ducks and turkeys. If you're a duck or turkey and you come to the farm, good luck. Chickens, so far, they're good. Last night when I came in, I locked them up. They were all in their coop. Everything was good. Life's good with these chickens. They're, they're doing all right, aren't you guys? You guys want some scratch? I got some scratch for you. A little scratch action. Beautiful. This is what we came here for, folks. Look at these. These are just trapping McGee out here. Yeah, what's, I think it's that. I think it is that toad, ain't it? Is it heavy? Yeah. Let's see. What do we got? Boom! Brand spanking freaking new dog proofs. Now, these are like new ones that I've never really used. But we've got like a dozen brand spanking. They're nice because, yeah, you just yeah. You literally just squeeze it. Like, you take this thing. Normally, you see us. We're struggling. We're using like dicks and stuff. These things, you squeeze once. And it locks it in there, and you're good to go. So we've got this. We've got a bag of dog food. We oh, there is some. We do have some bait somewhere. Woo! That's a stinky bag, there, boys. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. I don't see any of them. Take this down. God, that's the worst smelling box you ever seen. Ooh! I swear we had some uh, coon lure in here. Oh, here we go. What's this guy? Fish base pellets. All right. So got that. We've got dog food. I think we'll be, we'll be good. We're gonna go get these set out. And we're gonna put trail cameras on a couple of them. Like we're gonna try to get them around the coop. Um, but even like the game warden was telling me, like you can, I mean, basically just do what you need to do. First priority is your livestock. It's your livelihood for a lot of people. Basically you can do what you need to do to protect them. So we are gonna put some around the coop, but we're also gonna put them in the areas we think they're coming from just to even stop them. Because you know, if they get to the coop and they see a chicken or something prior to the dog proof, they're more than likely just gonna go there. So you don't wanna just line up around the coop and only the coop. You're gonna to wanna to kind of spread them out through the property to try to get them prior to. So we're gonna set some kind of down in the valley where we've seen them and stuff like that. But we've got a dozen, I believe at least a dozen of them. We're gonna set all of them out, put a couple trail cameras out. Hopefully we kill the backyard farm animal killer. All right, so what they say this was, this was what? Some type of, I don't know if I've used this before. Ah! Chasing rice! You have the Hulk out here? Oh, it's taped. All right, good, I thought I was weak. Ooh, ooh, they're pellets. So we could try this some in some some dog food. We don't have like the uh, like the liquid, like honey. We should put honey in it, but these are like really sweet smelling. Smell? Smell? Smells good. Smell, it's smell. like peanut butter. It's something sweet, almost like a fruit or something like that. But we're gonna go ahead and try. Try a couple different places here. But first things first, we're gonna do, I would say, if we did, I would say safely. Well, one thing we need to do, we need to move the coop in and of itself. And then we need to basically put these where, uh, you know, the weak points are. So actually, before we even get into this, we need to rearrange this whole coop action. As you guys saw, there's where they were, where the raccoon was sliding down and in. That's obviously a big problem. So we're gonna try to get it down, back down on flat ground. So in order to get under it, they have to be on flat ground, which maybe would make them, you know, I guess hit the fence more or something. So first things first, we're gonna redo that. Then we're gonna set up traps. You guys stay tuned. Yeah! 
Okay. Yeah. Turn that sucker off. You hear it pop? Yeah, that was good. All right, that's what we needed, folks. Okay, because before we weren't getting a pop. It was just kind of like a just is literally nothing. But you heard it. It, it, it teed off on me there. But uh, anyways, we we've re reorganized, rearranged. See, we pulled it nice and tight. We tried to run it more of a rectangle formation here. Kind of runs. The place that it was diving in was up on this hill. So we took that out. There's still a little bit of a gap right there. So we're going to go get some plastic stakes to kind of stake it. It's not terrible. I mean, I would definitely say they could they could crawl right there. But we'll fix that. Because this is where they were sliding down was actually right here. You can see where it's all down right here. And then uh, runs. Everything down here looks good. There's nothing up here. Pulls tight against here. This is all good there's a little bit of a gap there so we need to stake that down it runs all the way but that's it the new rearranged pen for now as you could tell the electricity was much toastier uh this round than it was before so if a raccoon tries to burrow under this and if it shocks it in time i think we'll be okay i think i think life will be good so with that being said we're gonna go ahead and get these dog proof set out we're like so we i would say four i would definitely do one right where that's used to going one kind of at the gate and then one on each corner and we'll put a trail camera on one of them at least maybe that back one and then the rest we want to go ascend down in the valley there because that's where they're all coming from so let's get these uh dog proofs out and ready to go all right so number one Let's show you guys. So this is my first time really using these. I've heard if it's like muddy and stuff, these don't aren't the greatest because uh, there's just so much metal. But the nice thing is you squeeze it once, boom, locks it in for you. So we're going to stick this one by the front gate. We're going to do front gate, one side, one side, and then back where they've been going. So basically, you know, just imagine they're going to be snooping along right here. Take it, shove it down. You want to make sure you've got a stake. If you don't have a stake, they're just going to run off with this thing on their paw, which wouldn't be, wouldn't be good for anybody. So go ahead and stake this down all the way. Get it nice and nice and far down there so that way they tug on it, nothing's gonna happen so i'm gonna try some of this i've never actually used this before these little raccoon nibbles so you go ahead and just throw a few of these in there and it's okay if you spill because that'll just get them even more interested they'll start eating those first just like that there's a couple different you know there's people that say that you want it to be filled all, filled all the way to the top some people say you don't want it to be all the way to the top you want it to be below the trigger i fill it up to where it just barely covers the trigger so when they reach in there it's not metal but basically the, full, the first tug that they do should get. So that's number one. We're gonna leave these guys on the ground and go set a few more out. I'm gonna try a little bit combination between dog food and raccoon bait. So this is gonna be spot number two on the side of this little area here. This one I'm gonna do a little dog food action. Same deal, shove it down on the ground, get your steak. Got some nice delicious dog food. Millie's, Millie, you can't be eating all the bait. Throw a little bit of dog food in there. I've had a lot of luck on dog food and then sprinkle some around and hopefully our little trapping companion doesn't eat all the bait, huh, buddy? Yeah, you're definitely gonna eat all the bait. The next stop is gonna be right where the raccoons are used to going in. They slid right where I'm standing here. So we're gonna go ahead, stick one in the ground right here, assuming they come to the exact same spot. We're gonna try coon bait on this one. We're just gonna mix it up. I'm sure either one's gonna work just fine, but that way if you get multiple, maybe they, you know, come and smell one, they like one, they get trapped. The other people go to the other one or something. I don't know. We're just gonna mix it up and you just kind of go with what works. But this is the one I'm confident we're probably gonna catch one in because they, uh, because they're used to coming through here. This is a frequent flying place right here. They come here. You have proof on camera that they've been here multiple times. So see how this goes. There we go. Number three, done. Final spot as far as around the chicken coop on the other corner. Like I said, we've got four on each corner. That way you're protected. 360. And then we're going to go throw some in the woods where we know they're coming from. Just a little dog food action. Just like that. Beautiful. All right. We're done with all the raccoon traps around the coop. Time to go in the woods. there you have it folks we've got a trap there and we've got a spy camera right up there we end up setting out i believe one two three four five we set out nine total i counted that one okay. one two three four five plus four plus that one six ten i think we set out ten 10 footholds uh dog proof so i think that's about all we're gonna do for now so we've got we have two cameras up we put one by the chicken coop so we like on the one that where they were sneaking under it so if it comes back and somehow dodges the uh the, the dog proof we're gonna know about it but then we've got like so we got this one right up here um this is a nice kind of just open area where you know they might go like this and i can see a little path right up to there so we have basically got this whole area right here i mean you can see the chickens they're right behind millie right now they love coming down here so we want to protect this whole area 
area. It's not just about protecting right, right around the coop. We want to take out any predators that are in this area because then, like, I, I like having the chickens being able to free range, at least during the day. At night is when you really throw up predators, so it's not a big deal, but, like, they live their best life out here, and I want that for them, but not when there's the predators around because we cannot afford to lose another character of the flare farm. Anyways, we're going to come back tomorrow. We're going to check the cameras, rebate everything. Hopefully, we've got Ricky in there, and hopefully, we don't lose any more chickens, so we don't have any ducks or turkeys to lose, or just basically, hopefully, we don't have any more animals to die, so you guys stay tuned. Shoo! How's it going, folks? It is, well, it's been actually one and a half-ish days from the time we put it out. It's like the next day's evening. You can see it's it's getting dark out here. We just got done running around doing some shenanigan things, but we have to go check on the traps. We've got nothing. Well, then we'll just go check them tomorrow morning, but we have not checked them today. Uh, we were gone all day. haven't had a chance, so they basically had all last night and all day today. I don't really think they come out during the day, and we've got trail cameras out there. Anyways, the uh, mule's out of gas, so first things first, we got to fuel this guy up, and then we're going to head on down and Millie, you excited Millie? Millie, what are you going to do if we caught the killer? What are, you, are you going to beat him up with me? Do we got this guy? What are, what are you going to do? You going to beat him up? Yeah, you're going to punch him, right? Punch him. Punch him. Yeah, give him the one, two. Give him the one, two. Ah, ah, ah. Beat him up. Beat him up. You going to punch him? Bah! Look at that. Coming in with the right hook. Bah! Oh, with the left hook. See, Millie's ready. We're, we're training her right, right now for this fight. She's going to go down there and square up on if we caught anything, I guess. How's it going over here? Good. I heard wants to know if you want to go to the, the baby concert with yeah. him. He said March he'll buy 11. the tickets. Yeah, I'll find something else to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting hooked and appreciate the invite, my guy. But I actually, I am. I am. Was it March 11th? That's her birthday. Can't miss the fiance's birthday. So I do have an excuse. No, that's good. You excited though, buddy? What if we have something? We're going after raccoons. That's what I'm saying. See that? The right hook. Give him, oh, you're going to bite him? Wow. Are you going you gonna to punch him? Are you going to bite him? Or you, oh, 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 oh. The one, two, three. Oh, he's knocked out. All right. Our training session is over. We're good. We're ready to rock and roll. Um, how's that thing going? Still going. All right, dope. Phew! All right, here we go, folks. Trap number one. Doesn't look like anything's touched it. We have a camera, though, so we'll check that. Trap number two. Nothing. Hennifer, what's going on, buddy? Trap number three. Oh, we got him! We got Ricky! I see you! Look at you, buddy! <laughs> Chickens! Are you guys not fearing for your life? We got one! Yes! What up, Junior? Are you the one that is responsible for Quacky Chan's death? God, you are a skinny-looking thing. No wonder you're out here eating the chickens. What were you thinking? What was the strat? What was your plan, Rick? You were gonna go in there and try to finish off the rest of the animals. Not today, Ricky. Yeah. You are kind of cute, but knowing that you are more than likely the one that took down Quacky Chan, this is an honorable dispatch, all right? You guys, we're here for you, all right? And the chickens, we're here for you too. So you guys, you stay safe. You got, who's got a gun? Bonzo's already strapped, look at that guy. In the name of Quacky Chan and potentially Tyrone and Tom, we're not positive, but actually we, we have not We have more traps to check too, so we'll go check those, and we have another trail camera. And we're gonna review the footage because the footage might show. He might've went around that He might've way. went this way. More than likely he went in this way because he probably ran up right there. We do have to cameras and stuff but we're gonna go ahead and take care of this guy this is uh this is one that i am proud of proud of catching again we're not it's not in season this is a pest control but obviously now we are the ones in control buddy is ko'd right now take him out of the trap oh, a little dog proof did did it did its job there buddy look at that got the farm animal killer well we haven't checked the other traps yet either but this guy is 100 percent the one that took out quacky chan based off of the camera footage that you guys saw he's got really long arms like we said he almost looks like a freaking dog we've got one down we're gonna go check the other traps and grab the trail cameras and then head inside <sighs> feels good to finally get the farm animal killer down on the ground. How, the real question is, how did he miss this one? Assuming he came right through here and then ran to that first one. Maybe they're coming in a different direction than we think, but we've got one right here. That's 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 weird. Why would he do? I don't know. Maybe he didn't come from that direction. We've got, so that would be number five, and I think we have 10 out here, so there should be five more. I'm looking for any raccoon squirrely around. Do we stick any over here, Bonzo? Oh, God, what's that? Where? Where? Oh, we, oh, we got another one. We got another one. Yes. Yes. We got another another one Millie you said Slayman saw him he goes oh god what's that he's down here okay I just want to make sure we count them all and we had a trail nothing. camera on that one that's got no. nothing we make let's go do a food check we got another one. Oh, he's pissed so you have a trail camera right there so that's another one and then we've got one right here this guy looks like he still has food yep it was on the last one huh farthest the further the one that's the furthest away from the chicken coop so we've got one right here and yeah, there's still food not much though it's a raccoon look at that thing 
Hey. Oh God, there's another one. Where? Oh, oh, we, oh, we have two. We got two more. We clapped, boys. Good. Dude, you knew they, like, what's crazy is we did trap down here a lot during trap. Never caught anything down here. So the fact that they're moving that much means they were all headed down this trail. They all come from here and they go up there. So boom, got, got that one, got this one. Somehow one slipped past all the other trap and got to the chicken coop and we got it. So we got three. That is crazy. I don't think I've ever trapped three raccoons in one night in my life. I never have. I've never trapped three raccoons in my entire life. How many, how many more bolts we got? I think at least two more. Two more? Yeah. Okay. Wow. I all right. expect to get three. We're going to go ahead and get these guys dispatched. Here we are, folks. Look at these guys. This, this was the quacky chan killer, 100%. He's really long, super long legs, a little bit more of a brown, these guys. We're the ones that are traveling like the creek area down there. Little guy, Chungus, another Chungus. Three is not bad. That's It's just crazy because we went hard with the raccoon trapping here at my house. We always set them down there. We never caught anything. And one night, we caught three of them. Good day of pest control, predator control. But we are going to grab that trail camera and run inside real quick just to see if you could see Buddy lurking around. And maybe that's why he ran on the other side. We'll, we'll try to, we're trying to learn, you know, where, where do they come from and whatever. I think we, we were on to them though. I mean, that's a pretty good start. We got three. So anyways, we're going to grab the trail camera and see you guys inside. Well, here we we are in the surveillance room here. The boys. Yeah, that's your chair, isn't it? That's Bonzo nap chair. Um, you know, you just I just don't know how to use a trail camera apparently. There's no clips. Nothing. It's not like it just didn't catch the raccoon. It's it didn't get anything because we walked in front of it. When I basically when I was checking all the traps you guys saw. So um yeah, you know, trail cameras are still something I'm trying to figure out. So there's no footage, unfortunately. You guys did see some footage earlier though of that big skinny lengthy looking chungus thing crawl in there and maul quacky chan. And well, we got him. He's he, he's dispatched, and we got two of his friends. And we left the traps. Uh, the rest of we didn't be rebate or anything, because we still have plenty of traps out there. Um, the most important thing is obviously just to keep traps around the coop at all time. Um, I mean, taking three out in one night, pretty darn good business. I mean, there's there's definitely a lot of raccoons around here, but that'll definitely make a dent in uh, in their population. And so my plan is just to keep four at the coop um, from now on. The ones that are in the woods, there's like two left. Keep those out there um, just for extra reassurance. But the 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 plan plan is basically just keep the tra keep the traps around the coop at all times because obviously these little suckers um you know he came right back even though even though he knew there was no food left on quacky chan's body he came back that means he was there for the chickens because that thing could climb up there and go through that little thing and then there's six chickens and he could just have a heyday with the six chickens so we're gonna leave that if you guys if you guys have any other ideas on how to prevent predators other than trapping them uh comment those down below as far as just like the birds and stuff we haven't had any issues with the baby goats or anything like that i mean with dale and the donkey in there ain't nothing getting it get harm anybody no coyotes or nothing like that but if you guys have any tips to protect your chickens uh comment those down below and yes i know what you guys are gonna say you're like well you need to build a new enclosure that isn't just this little electric fence it's got the roof listen we're working on it okay that's gonna be the next big project that we're gonna build all new enclosures like actual enclosures for everything so we don't have to worry about it so hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you so much for watching and peace <music>